disillusioned with politics. Come on. People are disillusioned with Islam. They are seeing the heart of the most radical Islamic vibe in Afghanistan now has power and they know it's wrong. They know it's not right. And we are going to see millions of Afghans come into the kingdom and pray for the believers that they would be bold and open their doors and that we would see an end gathering of people across the nation. That's where this is headed. What Satan is meant for destruction, God is going to use for his glory. We come saw on. that on and we're going to see it in Afghanistan. Come on, pray that, man. We're going to join you. Come on, everybody, everybody that's watching, everybody that's listening, everybody that's sharing this, let's pray together. Come on, just on the heels of that testimony of what took place in Iran and what Dan saw with his own eyes, let's begin to pray. Come on, Dan, just lead us in some prayer Jesus, for a great Jesus, harvest. We love you. We thank you that now is the time for for your kingdom to come on the earth. God, and we, we have a bit of recent history where your kingdom has come into Iran through a radical organic house church movement of not just a few, but millions. Because they saw the face of what Islam really was. Come on, and come the on. ugliness of it all, and the ugliness of what Satan wants is not what they want, is not what they were created for. And we pray today for the beginning and the growth of that same movement in Afghanistan. That what Satan has meant for destroying the people through this Islamic radical regime, that the body of Christ worldwide would stand up in prayer and we say no it is time for the kingdom of god to advance come we on. pray for billions of afghans to come to jesus that in the coming days weeks months and years we're going to hear of the greatest numbers ever in afghan history about what jesus is doing how he's bringing these wonderful people that he created to himself that they can live the way they were created to live and what Satan has meant for destruction in the last couple of days, we declare that God is going to use for his glory and to raise up his, his Afghan millions, God, that they could be a powerful witness for Jesus, not only in Afghanistan, but the whole world. We thank you for what you're going to turn this evil moment into glory for your purposes, God. We thank you. Yeah, Lord, and we just, I just come into agreement, God, with the testimony that Dan has spoken. Lord, we say now is the time of revival yeah. in that nation. Lord, we yeah. believe, God, that this moment, God, even as the world watches, Lord, we thank you, God, that even right now the whole world is watching, and they're thinking, what on earth is going to happen in that nation? There is no possibility for any hope, and I thank you, Lord, that this is a divine setup, God, to where only yeah. you can get the glory. Only you can get the glory. The U.S. Yeah. military can't get the glory. No politicians get the glory. No terrorist organization can get the glory. God, only you can get the glory from what happens in that nation. And so we partner, God, with heaven. God, we partner with the prayers of so many people yeah. across the Middle East. So many people like Dan that have given their life to the Afghan people. But we partner with their prayers. We said, now is the time. Come on, everyone, let's declare that. Now is the time of harvest. This now is the season of breakthrough. Today yeah. is the day of salvation. Lord, we pray, God, for radical encounters, God. We pray for yeah. Saul, the Paul encounter yeah. for the Taliban today, God. Right now, yeah. even as they sleep over there, God, would you arrest their dreams, God? Would you show yeah. up, God? Would you break in, Lord? And I pray, God, that a holy discontent would begin yeah. to rise in the people. Yeah. If they see this evil of radical jihad, if they see this this demonic being unveiled, this Sharia law, the whole thing. Lord, let a holy, righteous, uh, a, a unsettling rise in their heart to where they know this is yeah. not the answer. Lord, this is not the answer. Pull out yeah. the rug from underneath the, the feet of the enemy in that nation. Yeah. And we ask you, God, for where years there's been strongholds of Islam, where years, God, we pray right now that you expose it to the people, yeah. the truth of what it is. And let yeah. the righteousness of Jesus, let the light of your face prevail in Jesus' name. Come on. Yeah. In Jesus' name. We have seen hundreds, if not thousands, of Paul the Bible already have accepted Jesus in the <laughs> last uh, years. And that is going to explode Come into on. <laughs> of millions. That even within their own ranks, they know it's not the truth. And we ask right now, God, for millions of talents to come to Jesus. Come on. <laughs> and they see the reality.
reality of what they've had to join because they've been forced to for money or forced to by their parents. Like, what in the world is this? And I pray their eyes would be open to what they really, really believe, that today is the day of salvation. Bring them to Jesus. May they have that dream of the man in white, God, and that they would come and, and discover that they were created to walk with you. They were created to know you, and they were created to have all the beautiful things that you have for people. That today would be a day, God. Thank you, God, that you are going to turn this upside down because of your glory, God. Yeah, because you, your people are, are longing to know why they were created, God. Thank you for what you're going to do. Yeah, Lord, and I just pray, God, let's break off a spirit of hopelessness from people yeah. that are watching from around the world, God. Break yeah. off a spirit of fear from people, God, that are looking yeah. for us. We do not retreat as the army of God, Lord. We're called to advance. We're called to take ground, even when it looks hard, even when it looks dark, even when it looks impossible. God, you are going to show up, God, and you are going to show off just like you did with Paul and Silas in prison, just like you did, God, when Peter was imprisoned in Acts 12 and the church prayed. God, we pray for those kind of divine heavenly interventions tonight across Afghanistan. Break off the hopelessness. Break off the fear. We thank you, God, for such a time as this. You're going to move with your power across that nation. Dan, I want yeah. you just to share. I want you to share. I feel like a big part of this prayer meeting, you know, a lot of people are posting about Afghanistan and, and, and Haiti and all the horrible situations, and I get it. But we got to do more than just feel pity. You know, we got to do more than just feel bad. Like, we're our call, our call as believers is to rise up as intercessors from a place of hope and faith, knowing that He is the God that fulfills, knowing that not a word will fall to the ground void. So, why don't you share with us just a few testimonies from Afghanistan of what you've seen to kind of build our faith? Jesus is at work. Yeah, what trickled over from Iran, their neighbors, they have cultural ties and language ties. We have seen thousands of house church movements start across the country in the last couple of years. It's very, very real. In every single of the 29 states, there are rising house church movements of locals uh, just growing and growing and growing. The main way they're coming to Jesus is all through this dream of a man in white, and they get curious wow. what it is. They find Jesus, and then they Come get on. excited. And it is growing. It is growing. And God is moving among the people. Many of my dear friends are following Jesus today. As they have met him, and they have, they're very, very committed. They don't care what anyone thinks, and they don't care about the hardship. They're just excited. Where the gospel wow. is what's running their life. Not the fear wow. of the air, not the fear of what the opposition can do, not the fear of their own livelihood. No, they are, they're letting their lives run, be run by the gospel. Like, this is real, and this is what we live for. And they're seeing the miracles of God in their lives, not only for their livelihood, but wow. they're seeing a lot of miracles as they go forward in seeing others come to Jesus. And this is real. It is not just a side No, 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 no. This is real. And yes, wow. there are challenge, major challenges going on, but I get so excited that God is going to win. And God come is going to use this for His glory. 